my name is Tiffany Terry, and I would like to talk to you about the hobby of vanning. We've all seen the 18 van and the Scooby Doo van and wonder why they chose the van as their mode of transportation. What made the van so cool and, you know, and what was on the inside? What, what was so special about the van? Well, I'll tell you. We've all ridden in vans, driven vans, or used them for various purposes, whether it's transporting or just to ride around in. Um, I've been vanning for at least 10 years, of which seven I've been the president of my club um, in Chicago until I moved down here. And I still have a van club, but I'm just not there anymore. Um, I've gained knowledge through speaking with different banners, um, sitting at the board, because I sit on the council board, and I sit on the board of my own club. And I've also, um, the purpose of my speech is to inform you about the, the vanning as a hobby in a whole and what it entails. Um, vanning is the result of a lot of good people getting together for one common purpose, vans. And I would like to provide you with information about the hobby of vanning, which entails why vans are special to each individual, um, how we get together, and of course the van club world. First, I would like to talk about what makes the van so special to each person. What makes the van special to each person is the fact that they've customized, they've made it themselves. Whether they leave it plain and they just like random big fans, or they take time out to customize the paint, the rims, the, the tires, the sound system, the inside details, all the way down to taking everything out, all the things to install and brand new everything to make it look like whatever character or figure they've chosen for as their thing. Um, this can be looked up on the Vanden website. It's Vanden.com, V-A-N-N-I-N-G.com. And you can go into show vans just to see how detailed some of the work is. Secondly, I would like to talk about how we fellowship and how we get together as vanners. We have events called truck ends. At these truck ends, we socialize around campfires as well as um, live, we have live bands. Live bands is what makes it a truck end as opposed to just a hall party. Um, at these truck ends, you know, because everyone has children, the, the campground is restricted to vans and campers only. No RVs, no cars, truck SUVs. Um, we have fun. We have activities for the children. Everybody, everybody has fun at the truck ends. That's how we socialize. Some club, and then we have club sets, which happen from um, from September to May. We have the, the club sets, which monthly, weekly clubs get together and they have events and parties to raise money for different causes and things like that. Finally, I would like to talk to you about the van clubs. Van clubs are what make up the vanning world. They're the, basically the smaller communities of vanners where we get together and, and most of the clubs are either all Chevy, all Dodge, all high top vans, all low top vans, but either way, um, they have their own club names, they have their charities that they donate to, whether it is the Badly Women's Shelter, uh, Men's Shelter, Homeless Shelters, we do toys for tots and, and help them from the motorcycle club where I was going to say, see, I apologize. The motorcycle club run out with the toys for tots. Um, we do those things and we get together and we come together as each club. And you'll notice the clubs either by the logo on the window of their van or by the, the patching leather or t-shirt gear that they wear um, to let you know the name of their club. Um, in conclusion, I hope I've provided with you information about vanning as a hobby and why people enjoy it, why we enjoy it so much, and I've expressed to you what makes each van special to us, um, how we gather for these events, as well as the club foundation and why we get together. Um, again, I've been vanning for over 10 years. I've been the president of the club for seven years. I have sat on the national board for vanners and truck ends. Um, I've also been the business manager for the Illinois Indiana Van Club Council. I'm living down here now, so I've been reaching out to the van clubs between New Orleans and Pensacola, Florida. Um, so next time you see a van on the street, you may ask the owner if they've customized it, or you may even find yourself noticing the customization that's done to the van. Um, while I know vans are for everyone, the next time you see a van, just kind of take a minute and, and, and ask yourself or ask that person what makes that van special to them. And I will close by just saying that vans are more than just vans. Sometimes they're a way of life, sometimes they're a hobby. Thank you.